guys, it's August 1st and since it's my birth month, I'm planning to make videos about self-love. Dito ko isi-share yung mga thoughts or experiences ko or opinion ko about it para at least makatulong sa mga tao na nag-go through some stuff na hindi nila sinasabi or hindi nila kayang i-share sa ibang tao. Hopefully, by watching my videos, those people can at least have the strength or ma-encourage sila ulit to pick themselves up and to laban lang. This topic is one of my most favorite. <laughs> Masasabi ko siyang favorite kasi nga, the process that I've been through in being able to self-love, it's one of the most challenging moments of my life na parang, can I still learn to love myself? Is it still possible after all things that I've done? Diba? There's this point in our life na mapapakwestiyon tayo what's wrong with me? Madaming tanong. This topic is very broad. I'll just try my best to share as clearly as possible. Ang goal ko lang is to help people who are going through some stuff. Challenging kasi talaga yung self-love. It, it's not something you can give automatically. Even if it sounds like, ah, oh, that's so easy. Kasi nga, sino ba kasing hindi mahal yung sarili? Human as we are, it's the most basic thing? Or it's in our nature already. Kasi nga, self. Selfish, parang mga ganon. But if you look deeply into it, I don't think it's that easy. Kasi nga, if it's that easy, then hindi sana madaming tao struggle with it. Self-love is knowing Jesus first. Lahat naman tayo, di ba? We have different beliefs, we have different religions, and everything else. Ba iba tayo. This topic may not be your vibe or whatever. Maybe may ibang opinion ka. I respect that, but since, you know, it's my video, so let me just share why I think self-love is knowing Jesus first. There are times in our life na feel natin, it's the end na ba talaga? There's no point in living. Yung mga thoughts na really dark, Pag tayo kasi naharap na ng mga questions na ganun, it's very difficult to find an answer to be positive when you're in that situation. We're just human. So, no matter how much we say na kaya natin to or parang ganun, there will come a point talaga na, no, we can't. Or maglulus hope ka. Kasi nga, the situation is something that you cannot control. And as a human being, yung having that control is very important. That's how we like things, di ba? Gusto natin na may control tayo. So, pag hindi na natin nakokontrol yung things, wala na. So, that's how I view it kasi eh. For me, if you go back to Jesus, if you get to know Jesus, uh, kaka-face ka ng mga difficult questions or mga situations na hopeless na talaga. He's the only one who can give us hope. It's not the end na there is eternal life after everything. It's very important. Kasi nga, ba? If you don't have that will to go on, kasi you're just thinking of your own capabilities, which is limited naman talaga. We need to accept that. But if you get to know Jesus and all of His promises, yung nature ni Jesus, or yung kung what kind of God is God, if you have that strong foundation of Him, of who He is, then, grabe talaga yung impact na mabibigay niya sa'yo. Secured ka. You will be able to go through whatever it is. I'm a strong believer na hindi ka niya ilalagay sa isang situation hindi mo kaya. Or, kung hindi mo kaya, kaya ka niya nilalagay doon para mas kumapit ka sa kanya. So, meaning, lahat ng glory ay mapupunta sa kanya and not sa'yo. May mga times na gusto natin tayo, tayo, kaya natin to, parang ganon. So, how can people witness or see na God is working on you if yung makikita lang naman nila is it's all about you? Unlike na nag-work si God sa life mo, kung makikita din nila, ah, grabe, paano niya yun kinaya? Ah, kasi nga, iniwala siya sa Diyos. To be honest, mahirap kasi mag-share ang ganitong topic kasi ang daming masasabi yung iba na parang Ay, you believe in Jesus, pero how come your life is like this? We can't help it, but parang matotoxic na. To stop that kind of arguments, ang gusto ko lang sabihin is, if you do believe in Him, then go. Pero kung hindi mo naman feel, sa'yo na kasi yan, ang relationship natin with God is vertical. So it's always between you and Him. Spend some time alone and ask yourself if lahat ng nasa surroundings mo will disappear. 
what's in your heart, what's in your mind. Grabe yung mga realizations or mga naiisip ko. Kasi sometimes, from what I've observed, yung ibang tao kasi, syempre we cannot help but if you talk kasi, gusto natin ma-please yung iba. Hindi yung true self natin yung nalalabas. I need to be mabait. I need to say this kind of things. I need to be kind kasi nga, blah, 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 blah. It's a different experience if you talk to God kung anong nasa heart mo, anong, na, anong desires mo, why am I doing what I'm doing. One of my advices when doing self-love is always ask yourself the why question. May mga times kasi na yung nakasanayan natin na attitude, ang hirap i-let go. And honestly, I'm still struggling kahit na I'm talking to you about this stuff. Doesn't mean na na-master ko na ito. Sinishare ko, not to boast or not to make you feel na, hala, grabe, siya, siya na. Parang hindi ganon. That, that, that's not my intention. Yung intention ko lang is, it's just me sharing ideas on how you can improve your journey. Kung hindi to mag-work, baka ito mag-work. Please note na yung self-love kasi sounds selfish. Talking about you, ikaw na naman. Karamihan kasi parang magigilty when they do it. Para sa akin lang, it's not being selfish. You're doing it to better yourself to have that better connection or relationships with other people. If you don't start sa sarili mo, mahirap kasi if may isiskip ka. Especially if you don't have that guts to talk and examine yourself. It's not an easy and a fun journey. It's difficult kasi there are times na you don't want to admit. You don't want to admit your own fault, your own mistake your, ano ba, mga embarrassing moments, parang ayaw mo pag-usapan. Mas madami ako masasabi niyan sa next video, but for now, I just want to concentrate, yun nga, um, why is it important to know Jesus first? May mga days talaga na super down tayo, na parang hindi na natin kaya i-love or i-accept kung sino tayo or kung ano yung mga nagawa natin. Ayoko na maging ako, but kapag kasi kilala mo who God is, and knowing that he is a loving God, malalampasan mo din niya na stage eh. Kasi nga, di ba, if you're confident that God loves you, because he is a loving God, if you read your Bible, nandoon, God loves you, confident ka kasi sa ganyan na level. At least, when you're at your lowest, and then you remember that, sooner or later, you will get over through whatever that is eh, that you're having. Kahit kung hirap ka na mahalin yung sarili mo, by knowing God and knowing that He loves you, then that's already self-love. You're helping yourself not to be stuck in that black hole. Kung baga, hindi mo inaalaw na forever ka na lang magiging pa-victim or forever ka na lang magiging stuck na, ah, okay, ganito na talaga ako. Sayang yung binigay na buhay. It's not always rainbow and butterflies. Itong journey na to, it will really test you as a person. Maraming mangyayari. Go back to questioning yourself again, but one thing that you can never question is God's love for you. That's already fixed. Hindi mo na yan. Wala ka nang magagawa to erase that. It makes life worth living. I think that's the very first step in pursuing self-love. It's knowing God first and building a relationship with Him so that as you go on through your journey yung kahit anong yung mga challenges you are equipped with that strongest weapon and if you have God in your heart it's somewhat easier to change yourself for the better to let go of the old self it's not all about you anymore the change that you will be experiencing is brought to you by God yung transformation, ma-amaze ka how he can change whatever it is that's in your heart. It will be also challenging. We cannot control other people. If open ka kasi sa faith mo, tapos may nagawa ka na mali, people will be saying na agad na, akala ko ba, ano, may Diyos siya? Akala ko ba, ano, pero bakit parang ganyan siya? You cannot help but hear those comments. Yung masasabi ko lang whenever you hear that is huwag mo na lang silang pansinin. It's hard to argue with someone or it's hard to defend yourself sa mga tao na fix na yung mind. Kung may marininig ka ng mga ganon, don't listen na lang. But of course, always check. Check with your heart. May katotohanan ba yung sinasabi nila? We are changing each and every day. Just because na-accept mo na na ito, kasi sa next level, baka you need to accept it again. So, yun yung point ko na always check on yourself. 
examine mo yung heart mo, it's more on your relationship towards God, vertical, not horizontal. You're not doing it to please others. We have to accept that we are not everyone's cup of tea. Heat up if you try to live your life trying to please other people. Whatever life gives us, do not deprive yourself of going through that sadness. Just because you have Jesus doesn't mean you can't be sad or you can't be depressed. Tao lang tayo. Feelings yun and emotions. We need to allow ourselves to feel them. If you have that kind of belief or yung alam mo talaga kung anong kaya niya, then kahit na mag-go through ka ng ganyan, hindi ka masastuck. Yun yung importante. You will never be in that stage lang. After that, okay, next level na. You have him. So, alam mo na it's not the end, na there's always hope, and things will be better. Never forget to pray. That's the most powerful weapon we can have right now. Music